Hey guys, it's Amanda, and welcome back to my channel, Hoot of the Sims. So today we have a very exciting house build that I'm going to share with you guys. And yes, it is finally not a modern build. I know, surprising, right? Um, this house actually was inspired with this image that is shown right now in the video. Um, it's very cute. I just googled Victorian house style because I wanted to do a Victorian build. And this is what I came across. So I'm going to be making this house right now in The Sims 4. Um, it's very exciting and I apologize if I have to take like breaks to drink water and stuff. For some reason my throat is very dry today. Um, and this video is uh, like 32 minutes long, which means I have to talk for 32 minutes straight. So, um, speaking of, I'm gonna take a quick water break. Um, well, actually it's ice sparkling. I don't know if you guys ever tried ice sparkling water. Um, it is amazing if you guys like that kind of thing. I mean, that's, it's, you know, each to your own. Um, not everybody enjoys sparkling water or like, you know, flavored water, but I most definitely do. I think it's, oh my gosh, it is just, it tastes so, so good. I don't know why I like it so much, but anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna take a drink of my water, so be right back. <clears throat> Whew. I don't know about this flavor though. So my dad a while ago bought like a holiday pack of the ice sparkling water or yeah, ice sparkling water. Um, it's a limited time only thing. So it might already be out of store, but it's a ginger lime is the flavor. I mean, it's okay, but for some reason it's got a very weird aftertaste. So I'm not fond of this flavor in specific, but like I said, try all the original flavors for sure. Like, my think my favorite one was, like, the peach something or another. Like, peach mango or something like that. But, it, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I promise I'm not lying to you. Um, I highly recommend. It's super, super good. Like I said, especially if you like sparkling water. I don't know why I'm talking about sparkling water, to be honest with you. Um, but it is my pride and joy. I really like this stuff. I'm trying to completely quit soda and I've been doing a great job because of this awesome invention. Ice Sparkling Water, shout out to you. And no, I'm not sponsored by Ice Sparkling Water. As you can see, I only have so many subscribers. So, um, not sponsored. That's just me literally having an honest product recommendation for you guys to try out if you enjoy water. So, well, flavored water. Everybody should drink water. That's, you know, that's a given. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But anyways, this house build was super fun to make. Um, It's unlike a lot of any other house build, even off camera, that I've ever made in The Sims 4. Um, And I was just getting sick and tired of making, you know, more like modern boxy builds. And I wanted something that had a little bit more... um. I don't even know how to say that. Like, more interest to the build? I don't know. Um, just different levels, different turns, um, different roof styles, um, you know, and then that, the cool pillar, uh, octagon. Is that an octagon? No, that's a, yeah, it is. An octagon-shaped, uh, little lookout room on the top. I thought that was a very nice touch, too. Um, but yeah, that house, that real-life house, literally just drew me in. I don't know what it is about certain Victorian builds. I think they're very, very pretty. Um, this one I'd for sure live in because it's not too old looking, you know? Like, that's my problem with Victorian builds. I don't know, for some reason they always look like, you know, some sort of prince or princess live there because it just looks so rustic and old. Um, personally, I don't think I'd ever live in a Victorian style house in real life, but you know what? I would most definitely live in that image, that house that I found online because it's not super, you know what I mean, it's not super Victorian or anything like that. I think it's just the right amount of rustic and old looking to where I could bear in this house. Um, plus I really do like the color scheme, um, the nice green, uh, the garden that they even have in the real life house is super pretty, um, in the front and around the side of the house, which is awesome. Um, and I wanted to stay as true as I could to the real life house when I was trying to build this in The Sims 4. 
So I did get very indecisive at times. I didn't know what I was doing half the time. I just kind of hoped that it would turn out and work, and it did, which makes me happy. That's why we have a video up today about this. I mean, it's not filmed the same day you're probably going to be watching this, uh, obviously. But um, I wanted to make another house build in advance because I do enjoy building in The Sims 4. Um, it just takes a lot of time and editing to make these house builds, so I don't get to make them as frequently as I have been lately. Um, I finally kind of gotten used to my work schedule and I can manage my time better there too, which means that there is a potential for more house builds now that I can struggle, you're not struggle anymore, you know what I mean? Like I can handle my workload, I know what I'm getting myself into at my real life job, not my YouTube videos, you know, like I need to be able to balance both and still have time to breathe and be a human being. So um, this is why I am finally starting to put out more house builds because now I am used to my workload um, for the most part. And, um, you know, I always build in The Sims anyway, so I figure we might as well just record it while I'm doing it. The only problem is, is that doing this audio commentary, like I said, for 32 minutes straight can really take a drag. Um, take a drag, what does that even mean? Take a toll on your voice box afterwards. Um, I know a bunch of other YouTubers can definitely contest to this when they're doing commentary on their videos, but you know what? It's part of the fun of making a house build, um, and that's probably part of the reason why it won't be released as frequently as, like, my Let's Plays, you know, because, you know, I'm just, I'm talking when I'm playing the game and I take breaks, when I'm playing the game and I don't take breaks with this audio recording. I mean, I really, I could, but it's just a lot more time because honestly, what I'm doing right now is watching this sped up video and doing commentary at it at the same time. And then I'm talking afterwards because if I were to do the audio in the same, you know, video clip and sped it up, I would sound like a chipmunk talking very fast and you would not be able to understand me. So, and this is how... I do my house builds um, and how I add commentary to it. So sometimes it can be pretty hard to just sit here for 30 minutes and talk. Just saying. Um, but anyways, guys. So I don't know if any of you, well, I'm sure all of you have at least heard of Chipotle. Oh my gosh. Chipotle is such a lifesaver. So my friend actually had a birthday party last night and I'm 21. So... I had a total of like, mm, I would say, I think it was like eight total drinks. Not like mixed drinks, but I had a, like eight total like, I don't know, they're like basically like apple cider wine coolers and um, and then I had two like pineapple beers, um, but yeah, I was feeling it pretty, pretty good last night. Um, I wasn't drunk by any means, and I definitely don't recommend drinking a lot, um, because it's a family channel, but I'm just kind of telling a story. But yeah, I'm really tired today, um, cause, just because that happened yesterday, <laughs> um, and I'm feeling repercussions. Felt a little bit earlier today. I was just kind of more tired than I normally am after drinking. I don't know if it's because I'm not used to drinking that much because I never drink. I only drink when there's social events going on, like I said, like a birthday party when we're all playing games and hanging out, um, then it's okay, but I don't normally drink, so I really was feeling the repercussions of it this morning. I was just exhausted, I was tired, I didn't want to deal with anybody, um, yeah, so that's another backstory of what is going on right now and why maybe I am just not making sense to you because I am still very tired from all of that. Um, but I don't know. It was a fun time. I enjoyed it. But anyways, guys, real talk. I don't know if you guys have heard of, pot of uh, Potted Potter. It's a Harry Potter play. It's basically all eight movies, seven books, wrapped into a 70 minute play and they're coming to Minnesota and they're going to be here until March and my mom and I bought tickets and my boyfriend and I are going my mom's going my dad's going um and I'm just I'm very excited about it because it's also supposed to be like a comedy of the play and like I said it's only 70 minutes long and it wraps up all the books and movies 
in one play. So I'm really excited to see how this play is going to be executed. Um, but I'm going to that, uh, not this weekend, obviously, so not the 16th of February 16th weekend, but the next weekend. And I'm, oh my gosh, I am so excited. I absolutely love Harry Potter. I don't know if I've ever talked about this. I don't think I have. But um, those movies and books, oh my goodness, they just, I don't know. It's something, it's just something that's never been done before. It's super unique, um, family friendly, first off. And it's just a whole, it's just, oh my gosh, a whole great storyline. I just, I really enjoy the series. And if you guys have not watched Harry Potter, please, please do. Because when I was younger, my, actually, my sister's babysitter was recommending the movie to me. And I was like, eh, like, you know, being a bratty child back then, I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to watch it. You know, like, it sounds stupid. Like, you know, like, the, the typical young girl answer. I was a very stubborn child, and I wanted to discover things on my own. So when someone told me to watch something or do something, I would refuse. But anyways, I finally broke down in high school. I think it was actually just freshman year of high school, and I was like, all right, I have to watch this because literally every kid my age and even older than me grew up with this series, and I kind of missed out on that whole, you know, hype, but I did get to see the last Harry Potter movie in theater, and it was, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, and the second I read the books and finished watching all the movies, I had to buy every single book and movie. I just, I couldn't wait. Um, I basically just caved and bought everything, even though, you know, I didn't have a really, like a, I don't know, like a consistent job in high school. I mean, who really does? All I did was work at um, Domino's actually on the weekends. So I had very minimal money, but I still had to go and buy all those movies and books because I just loved them so much. So yeah, but <laughs> to say the least, I am so excited that, that play is coming to town finally. Um, they've been hyping it so much on Facebook lately. Like, I don't know if it's my friends sharing stuff about it or if I'm following some sort of, like, Harry Potter fandom page. But either way, oh my gosh, your girl's excited. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my future plan for next weekend. And I honestly, I can't wait. Like, I hope this week of work goes by so fast. Um, you know... Knowing me or knowing my job, it won't go by fast, which is the problem, because I'm just ready to see it now. Like, I just, I want it now. You know what I mean? Like, oh, goodness. It's going to be so, so good. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that YouTube series, too. Like, the, there's like a Harry Potter play on YouTube. I don't remember what it's called. You know what? I'm going to look it up when, right now, because why not? You, you can't see my screen because, you know, you guys... You're going to watch the build because it's fantastic. But I'm going to see if I can find that because if you guys enjoy Harry Potter, you would most definitely love this YouTube series. And I don't even think it's originally on YouTube. I'm just going to look up Harry Potter play. Let's see what comes up. Ha! There it is. A Very Potter Musical by Team Star Kid. Oh my gosh, it is amazing because literally it's just a bunch of movies, very short um, movies, basically, or clips, I should say, and I think the longest one is like, yeah, the longest one is only nine minutes long, um, but I, I really, I do recommend it because they are hilarious. Um, it's, uh, obviously, it's a comedy of Harry Potter, and every single little joke is hilarious that they do. Oh my gosh. Uh, seriously, you know, I'm gonna link it below in the description, um, and I'm gonna keep this playlist up so I just, I remember to link it for you guys, because, like I said, I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Super funny. It's not a waste of time. Um, it's highly entertaining, and I'm sure some of you have probably seen it already, and you can contest to what I'm saying right now, but oh my goodness, it's oh, one of my favorite things to watch on YouTube, not gonna lie. I just keep going back to it. I don't know what it is about it. It's just super funny. But anyways, 
So as you can see, I'm very indecisive about where I want things in this build. Um, I actually end up adding a basement later as well. So that staircase becomes um, like a one, one block or one grid point wide instead of two. So I could put stairs going to the basement there. But I ended up adding a bedroom of even like a home gym slash laundry room down there. And then like that bath or the bedroom downstairs also has its own ensuite bathroom which is super nice because um as you can see there's literally only a half bathroom on the first floor which is kind of annoying to me I didn't want it to turn out that way but I thought that was the best use of my space is to have a lot of it a lot of it <laughs> a lot more entertainment room in the house for your sims to enjoy family time and such um but yeah, I don't know. It's it's okay. Like that's that's probably my least favorite part of the house is that it's not a full bathroom on the first floor. But then again, if you think about it, what house really does have a full bathroom for people to use on their first floor? You know what I mean? It's just not something that typically happens in a house, especially on a main floor. You usually have, you know, bathrooms with showers where all the bedrooms are, which makes sense. But I wanna apologize ahead of time if you guys don't like the little tiny half bathroom I have. Um, but, you know, I thought it was practical. I thought it was a good use of space. Um, and it turned out nice. It's cute. Um, and I think it's in a very good location as well. In this office, I had a lot of fun decorating. As you can see, I'm using the alt key to, you know, place things where I want them to be and raising objects up higher because sometimes, for some reason, I'm sure you guys have experienced this too, but, like, the shelves in The Sims 4 will not fit objects that look like could fit on shelves half the time. So it's really frustrating. You have to go and you have to, you know, use move objects and alt and it's just a whole ordeal. But I thought the stuff that I put on there was good. It was minimal. Um, I left the, one of the shelves blank. So when you guys download the house on the gallery, um, that you can add your own twist to it and add your own items as well. Like maybe your sim collects items and they could put everything on those shelves, you know? I, I don't know. Um, but I've never been a big collector in The Sims 4. Um, I really do want to try collecting, um, but something I really want to do more than do the collections in The Sims 4 is actually just make a sim family that just farms. And all they do is farm for money, you know, so they they uh, harvest plants and sell plants and all this stuff. And I think that'd be, it just sounds like a very difficult task, but also a fun task to do in The Sims 4. I don't know why, but I think it'd be really cool to do. Um, just kind of have your Sims, like, basically just have a huge home garden or something and have them plant for money. I think it'd be very, very awesome. So, but yeah. Here, again, being very indecisive about the hallways and the room sizes and so on and so forth. And yeah, I'm realizing it now that that closet could have been a bathroom for the other room right next to the master. But you know what? I felt like it's a master bedroom. It needs a master closet. Um, plus the other bedroom is meant for like a teenager, so they don't really need their own bathroom as much as they would want a new bathroom for themselves and only themselves. It's not realistic to most real life houses, so I felt like leaving it without a bathroom was fine, and I just wanted the master to be glorious, and it even has a little reading nook, which I love, because um, sometimes my masters can get a little too ridiculously huge, but I think this one turned out just fine. It was a perfect size. It is a weird shape, but that also makes it unique, so... <clears throat> and there goes my throat again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um, this, like I said, this house was, again, super, super fun. Um, but I kind of want to talk about, like, why I even got into The Sims 4 and why I started my channel so late on YouTube. So basically, I play The Sims the, whenever the chances I get, you know, um, regardless if it's, doing a challenge regardless if it's because I have an elaborate storyline for my sims you know a really detailed family storyline or I just build in the sims either way I always found myself returning to the game no matter how long I was away from it I'd always come back to the sims and it's been that way since 
The Sims, like the first Sims game that came out. I played that one for a little bit, and then The Sims 2 is really what got me hooked. But um, this game has always held a very special part in my heart, um, because the fact that you can literally make your own story, and it changes every single time. You know, like when you play Call of Duty, it's always the same thing. Maybe you're playing a different game mode, but essentially you're just killing people. You know what I mean? Like The Sims 4, you can have a family with the dad as an astronaut, the mom's a writer, or the mom's an artist, or a cop, you know? And it, the story changes every time. And you can have two kids, you could have zero kids, you could adopt kids, you could have pets, you could not have pets. Um, and it's just very inclusive to a ton of players, and I just enjoy that about The Sims. And I feel like these games have gotten progressively better as, as they've been released. Um, granted, The Sims 4 is missing a few things that I would really like to see that we had in The Sims 3, you know, like cars and maybe less loading screens, but I know since that's how the base game was made, it's not going to change, so that might be something we have to look forward to in The Sims 5, but... It does help the game, um, basically the processing rate when you're just going from a loading screen to a lot. Um, your game runs a lot smoother and I understand that. But I thought it was super, super fun when your teenager Sims, like, learned how to drive. You know what I mean? It was so realistic, um, very inclusive to just a modern day life, you know, like, especially in the US where you have to go through classes and practice for driving and then your parents take you out and you have to practice with your parents and it's a whole ordeal to get your license. And I thought it was just very fun that The Sims 3 almost hit that spot on, on the button, you know what I mean? Like, it was just such an inclusive game. Sims 4 has a lot of inclusive elements to it as well, like the ability, you know, like, you know, uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, I'm just stuttering on my own words, but um, the way that you can mess around with the roofs on this game, I like a way more than The Sims 3. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I do. Um, and I feel like these graphics are, yes, a little less detailed than The Sims 3, but I think that's what makes it better. Um, it is supposed to, you know, reflect real life, but to a certain extent. I feel like if we were super detailed with this game, it would just be way too boring. I don't know. Um, and these graphics are just perfect in my opinion. Yes, the color wheel was amazing in The Sims 3, and I don't know why they got rid of that. Um, the game makers say it's because it caused lag and it wasn't implemented into the base game, so they're not going to be adding it to The Sims 4, which I'm kind of sad about because Sims players could customize literally anything. Clothing, wall colors, wall patterns, like clothing patterns, um, hair colors, highlights, you know what I mean? Um, but it might be better this way. Like I said, the game does lag a lot less and we don't get those weird glitches of babies being burnt in grills anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that, but like it's awkward fails of The Sims or like glitches of The Sims. And my goodness, it is so funny. It's I forget who made it on YouTube, but I was watching that the other day and I was crying because I can relate so much with weird glitches in The Sims. And I'm sure you guys can too, because I mean, obviously if you watch Sim YouTube videos, you must be a pretty big simmer yourself, so. Um, but I thought that was just very, very funny. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, loading screens, not bad. I've gotten used to them, but I really do miss that aspect of having your Sims be able to drive places and have cars, and customize your car colors, and teach your teenagers how to drive, and having them go to prom, and driving to prom, and having them being picked up in a limo, and you get to watch the whole process. Like, I thought that was so awesome. I've been watching some YouTubers, though, that make commentary on why the loading screen is not a huge deal, and I agree to an extent. Most other YouTubers say that, like, the loading screens are way better than 
you know, basically having an empty world. Because I don't know if you've ever, if you guys even play The Sims 3, but how it worked was that your Sims would drive to a lot in their car. And since it was an open world, more or less, you don't, you didn't have that many Sims that would show up on the same lot that your Sim went to, if that makes any sense. So, like, um, basically, the loading screens, when you arrive at a public lot, you know how, like, a bunch of just Sims just start randomly showing up? Or, like, wherever your Sim is, there's always other Sims around, walking around in the world. Basically, when they had to drive places, since it was an open world, and it never was enclosed to loading screens, that your sim would pretty much be alone in the world. And yeah, I, I noticed that too. But to be completely honest, they there's ways around that, you know? Like, basically, if your sim is traveling to a lot in a car, and then they get out, maybe, like, so we can watch them drive, right, to a lot... And then they get out of the car, and then that's when the, you know, you get a loading screen, and then it loads into whatever lot you travel to. I think that'd be a lot more effective, and you'd, you know, it's the best of both worlds. You had the cars in the game, but you also have a loading screen to actually go into the lot that you're visiting after your sim drives there. I think it's more inclusive, it's more interesting, and it's just more realistic that way. But, <laughs> Enough rambling about what needs to be fixed in The Sims 4. I just, uh, I just can't thank this game enough. I don't know what I would have done growing up without this game. I, I've spent countless and countless of hours playing all of The Sims together. Like, if I had my other computer open right now, I'd tell you how many hours I've played the game. Um, The Sims 4 is now over, like, 850 hours I have clocked on the game. Um... And that's just collectively, lately I've been playing a lot more, so most of that time has come as of recent. But like The Sims 3, I played that game for 736 hours or something crazy like that too, so <laughs> your girl loves The Sims, <laughs> to say the very least. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This game has just given me a lot of fun and a lot of time and a lot of just a lot of good experiences out of The Sims, and I do, I really appreciate the game makers and everybody that puts effort into making these amazing games and makes it so inclusive for everybody to use, you know what I mean? I'm just so grateful that this game exists. Um, but along with great games, I don't you guys, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Free Realms. Um, it was a Sony game a while ago that was released, and my goodness, that was my game. Like, now, since Free Realms is gone and taken down and the servers no longer exist, this, like, <sighs> Sims has recovered my playtime that I would be spending on Free Realms, basically. So, Free Realms was an open, like, MMO, open world, not MMO. It was an open world game where you could meet friends chat with real life people, do duels, do quests, um, fight monsters, you know, you could be an archer, you could be a swordsman, you could be a ninja, like, a warrior. There was just so many different things that you could do in Free Realms, and it was amazing. Like, they had little Halloween battle bashes between vampires and werewolves, and you could pick a side, and whoever had the most dancers would win, and you would actually win clothing for your character or new house stuff. Um, and you could purchase new lots. It was just, oh my gosh, I miss that game, guys. And comment below if you've ever played Free Realms. Because if you can relate and you played Free Realms, you're amazing. Like, you're amazing either way if you didn't play the game. But you know what? You know what I mean. It was just, oh my gosh the best game to ever exist, in my opinion. Um, you know, Sims is way up there for me too, but Free Realm sucks so much time and money out of my day that it was actually insane. And this was back, like, I started playing that game when I was in middle school, I believe. I think I was, like, in sixth grade or something. Um, but, oh my gosh, it was such a sad day when that, all the servers went down. 
it made me so sad. And the thing is, is that they posted the time that the game was getting taken down, too. And, um, oh my gosh. They, I didn't follow with, like, the time zones, you know? Like, how they say that it's, you know, something Pacific time, you know? They didn't have a time zone listed. So I just assumed that it would just update to wherever, you know, you live. So I went on for the last couple of hours when the game was closing and I was working, so I came home from work and was like, yay, like, Free Realms is going to be up for another two hours. Like, this is awesome. I didn't miss it. I logged on, and the servers were gone already. And I about cried. I actually think I did cry because I didn't get to say goodbye to the game that gave me so much fun and hours of entertainment. It was just such a horrible day. And I don't understand why they got rid of the game either because... It was so inclusive to all ages. Um, there was so much to do on that game. And I actually met a few of my real life best friends through that game. Granted, I've never met them in person, but I Skype with my friend that I met on that game all the time. Like, I Snapchat him. I, like, <sighs> we have had plans to meet for a long time. And I think we're finally going to meet in person, like, next summer. I hope anyways, if things go up to my plan. But yeah, like, Free Realms has given me friendships, like, lifelong lasting friendships that I didn't think would happen just from a video game. You know what I mean? Like, e especially a kid's video game. Like, it, it was geared more towards, like, I would say middle school age, but I still played it when I was in high school before they shut it down because it was that inclusive to all ages. But rest in peace, Free Realms. <laughs> rest in peace. Um, but yeah, so this video is actually coming to an end, guys. Stay tuned to the end of the video, though, after I'm done rambling, because there's going to be images of the house all pretty and dolled up closer up so you guys can enjoy that view of the rooms and such and so on and so forth. But anyways, I am going to cut off here. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, guys, hoot out. Mm -hmm.